environment. But this one in particular, the forester Jason Denham is fighting an invasion that's killing trees across the Northeast. We're looking for a teensy tiny uh, little black pepper speck with a fringe of white around it right now. The hemlock woolly adelgid is hard to see with the naked eye. Not out on the needle, but right near the base. But the tiny invasive species of insect is having a gigantic impact from Georgia to Maine, threatening delicate ecosystems that rely on the hemlock tree. How bad has the problem gotten? So right now, hemlock woolly adelgid is present in about half of New York State. From the hemlock woolly adelgid to the emerald ash borer to the mountain pine beetle, Invasive insects are killing large swaths of our nation's forests. And according to a new report, extreme weather events linked to climate change, like droughts and flooding, make the problem even worse. That becomes an additional stress on those trees and they are more likely to succumb and die when they're infested. Eventually they rot and that carbon dioxide is released back into the atmosphere. A recent study from Purdue University shows invasive pests kill so many trees each year, it's equal to 5 million car emissions. The study also estimates that if unchecked, invasive insects could eventually kill off a staggering 41% of trees in the continental U.S. Denham and teams at the New York Department of Environmental Conservation are doing what they can to save the trees, spraying insecticides and releasing natural enemies of the insects. It's a high stakes battle. There will still be life here when these hemlock trees are gone, but it won't be the same place. He hopes to prevent a shattering blow to the habitat for the countless species living in the shade of the hemlocks. Tom Hansen, CBS News, Ulster County, New York.